Corey Haim. Authorities saying the 38-year-old actor probably died of an accidental overdose of prescription drugs. He battled addiction for more than 20 years. Yeah. It's cost you, what, about two and a half million dollars already? It's cost me story? everything I've ever made. Celebrities sometimes appear to have it all. Millions of adoring fans and millions of dollars in the bank. But sometimes it takes a little slip-up a legal battle, mismanaged finances, or even addiction to send them spiraling down. Didn't really focus on it. I don't think it's a really dark album in that sense. It's not a mournful. Join us as we explore the stories of 20 famous celebrities who lost everything. Number 20. Brett Butler. When Brett Butler first burst onto the scene back in the 90s, everyone thought she was going to shine forever. After snatching the title role in the widely successful series Grace Under Fire, Butler went on to receive two Golden Globe nominations and a net worth of over $25 million. But fame is a slippery slope. And just like many Hollywood superstars, Butler found herself drawn into the arms of illicit drugs. She got addicted to an opioid pain relief pill known as Vicodin, which was initially prescribed to help with her sciatica treatment. It didn't take long for her to start acting erratic on set, making her increasingly difficult to work with. With more money in her bank account than she knew what to do with, Butler believed she had an unlimited source to fund her addiction. But that wasn't the only thing draining her purse. Butler also went on several shopping sprees, buying anything that caught her eye from designer shoes to expensive jewelry. She also didn't put so much thought into her finances, and before long, it became obvious that her purse wasn't as deep as she thought. It was this drug addiction that would eventually lead to the cancellation of Grace Under Fire, the show that made her a superstar. The show's cancellation was a reality check for Butler, and she realized she had to take responsibility for her life. She went into rehab and got clean, but sadly it was too late. After falling down the proverbial ladder, Butler left Hollywood and moved to Georgia, with the hopes of living the rest of her life on a farm she found online. But the purchase ended in disappointment, and over time, she struggled to meet up with mortgage payments, ultimately losing the property. The once famous actress found herself living in a homeless shelter and depending on handouts to survive. She would eventually try to pick up the pieces of her life and get herself a place to stay. But fast forward to July 2021, and the actress had to rely on a GoFundMe to save her from eviction. These days, the actress has been working hard to pull herself from the depth of despair, but how it will all turn out remains to be seen. Number 19. Lindsay Lohan from amassing a fortune of about $40 million to losing it all in the blink of an eye, Lindsay Lohan's Grace to Grass story is one of the strangest Hollywood has ever seen. At the height of her career, Lohan was one of the youngest and highest paid Hollywood superstars who attained millionaire status before she was even an adult. Most fans would remember the actress for her incredible performance in Mean Girls, Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, The Parent Trap, and Freaky Friday. But after making tons of terrible decisions, the actress has been relegated into the abyss of Hollywood rejects. But how did she lose her money? Well, from the very start of her career, Lohan was inspired by older successful actors who diversified their incomes. So she launched a music career, which started out quite successful, but after music critics like Stephen Thomas Erlewine bashed her music, her popularity began to decline. Music aside, Lohan also tried making money from the fashion line 6126, but that also flopped. In reality, the reason Lohan was trying desperately to make more money was because of her lavish spending habits. Lohan fancied luxurious living, and she didn't spare any expenses buying expensive cars, handbags, and every little thing she wanted. She was also known to be a party animal, who faced a serious struggle with addiction. This addiction was what eventually led to the demise of her career, as few directors were willing to work with someone who frequently fell sick, was always exhausted, came late to the set, and overall was difficult to work with. She also began getting into lots of debt, buying drugs worth thousands of dollars on credit, getting into trouble with the IRS for unpaid taxes of over $100,000, owing a tanning salon $40,000, along with several other debts. Today, her current net worth is just around $800,000, and although that's still quite on the high side, it's just a mere shadow of what the actress used to be. Number 18. Gary Busey. The story of Gary Busey is one of the most tragic tales to ever come out of Hollywood. At the start of his career, Busey looked quite promising, but things soon took a dark turn. After kickstarting his career in acting, 
Boozy hit his first big role in 1974 with the film Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. He quickly gained recognition for his incredible talent, and soon he was bagging bigger and bigger roles. In his heyday, he even received an Academy Award nomination, and it seemed his career was headed for the stars. He was even tagged one of Hollywood's most promising leading men by The Hollywood Reporter. So how did such a talented actor become relegated to cameos and irrelevant characters? Not to mention the barrage of YouTube compilations asking what exactly happened to Gary Busey. This downfall can be traced to one major incident. You see, back in 1998, the actor was involved in a serious motorcycle accident that almost took his life. This accident left him with a major head injury, but the worst part was that his personality was now dialed up to 11. Boozy became an unfiltered drug addict, who sometimes acted erratically in public. Soon, he began struggling with his lines, and this marked the beginning of his march to the Hollywood basement. In 2012, the actor filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy protection in California, claiming to be more than $500,000 in debt. His tragic fall from grace is heartbreaking, and unfortunately, there's a whole generation that would never see him as the talented performer he once was. Number 17. Marilyn Manson the story of Marilyn Manson's tragic fall from grace is a cautionary tale to rising stars, a story that bears retelling. Back when Manson was the heart of metal music, he sold over 50 million records worldwide, earning him a net worth of over $25 million. But then, in February 21, Manson was slammed with allegations of abuse and assault, and so began his troubles. Several victims came forward to tell their versions of the story narrating the horrifying experiences they had with Manson. As soon as the media caught wind of the story, Manson found himself on the Hollywood blacklist, and he lost financial support from various companies and organizations. He lost endorsements with several companies, and even his record label, Loma Vista Recordings, had to cut ties with him. Due to this scandal, his net worth dropped dramatically to a measly $2.5 million. Number 16. Corey Haim on March 10, 2010, famous Canadian actor Corey Haim passed away after battling several health conditions, including pneumonia and coronary atherosclerosis. By the time he died, Haim had just about $5,000 to his name, a far cry from the luxurious lifestyle he enjoyed back in his heyday. Back before things went sour, Haim stacked up millions of dollars from his widely successful roles. But by 1997, he was so neck deep in debt that he had to file for bankruptcy. His listed debts included medical expenses, along with over $200,000 in state and federal taxes. The cause of Haim's downward spiral isn't a mystery, though, as the actor was known to engage in a frivolous lifestyle back when he had money, and he even struggled with addiction at some points. But by the time he died, he was living with his mom and couldn't even afford to own a car. Things got so desperate that Haim even tried to cash in on his fame by attempting to sell his teeth on eBay just to make ends meet. Sadly, even though he tried to stage a comeback so many times, all his efforts resulted in futility, and he was never able to make it out of the shadows till he died. Number 15. Ed McMahon Back in the day, Ed McMahon was one of the most beloved television hosts in America. From working alongside TV legend Johnny Carson, Some of the animals you had as babies are now... 10 years old. That would be about right. <laughs> to hosting several shows like Star Search and national events like the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, McMahon was on top of the world. He also made several film appearances with projects like The Incident, Fun with Dick and Jane, Full Moon High, and Butterfly. In his prime, McMahon was worth millions of dollars, which was why it was quite surprising when news broke in 2008 that the star was $644,000 behind on his mortgage payment. Everyone was shocked to find out that McMahon was on the verge of losing his multi-million dollar Beverly Hills mansion, which was one of his most prized possessions, but that wasn't the end of it. McMahon was also sued by Citibank for $180,000, followed by another lawsuit filed by his divorce attorney, Normal Solovey, who claimed that McMahon owed about $275,000. These financial problems were only compounded by a series of health problems the man had to deal with, including a deadly bone cancer. Shortly after midnight on June 23, 2009, Ed McMahon passed away at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles. He was 86, and according to his nurse, his death was attributed to the many health problems he suffered from. Number 14. Heidi Montag While many celebrities lose all their money due to unfortunate events, 
Some blow it all away with reckless spending. Heidi Montag is a good example of why even millionaires must cut their coats according to their clothes. There was a time when the American reality TV series, The Hills, was the talk of the town. That was back in 2006, when MTV brought the duo of Heidi Montag and her husband Spencer Pratt Rose together, creating a show the world would not forget in a hurry. It was during this period that the two fell in love and got married. By the time Heidi and her husband decided to exit the show in 2010, they had both made a whopping $10 million. However, they probably overestimated the value of that money as they dove fully into the lavish lifestyle, spending and buying and traveling at every given opportunity. At the peak of their careers, Heidi and her husband frequently lavished thousands of dollars on dinner dates, as well as countless shopping trips. Due to this unbridled appetite for luxury, the couple have squandered their $10 million net worth and are now worth just about $300,000. Not surprisingly, the couple have embraced a frugal lifestyle lately as they try to rebuild the empire they brought down with their own hands. Number 13. Natasha Lyonne. Not every celebrity who loses everything stays down forever. Some like Natasha Lyonne take their losses well and go on to build a reputable career. Known for her distinctive raspy voice and tough persona, Lyonne rose from obscurity to become one of the most celebrated actors in Hollywood. With two Screen Actors Guild Awards in the bag, coupled with five Primetime Emmy nominations and two Golden Globes, Lyonne looked unstoppable until she crashed out and almost lost everything. In 2005, Leon's dirty secrets were aired to the public after she was hospitalized with hepatitis C, a heart infection, as well as a collapsed lung. She also had to undergo methadone treatment under the glare of the New York paparazzi. It wasn't a pretty sight, and it dealt a heavy blow to her career. As is always the case with cancel culture, producers and directors refused to work with her. Even some fellow stars started avoiding her, and she found herself in the shadows again. But thankfully, with the help of a loyal friend, Chloe Sevigny, who vouched for her sobriety, she was able to make her way back onto the scene and into our hearts. Number 12. Courtney Love. For many years, one question has puzzled many Hollywood experts and pop culture observers. How did Courtney Love lose $27 million? After her beloved husband and Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain took his own life in 1994, Love inherited all his writing and publishing rights, which were valued at $130 and $115 million respectively. In 2006, Love finally and officially sold 25% of her share of Nirvana's publishing rights. However, she would later come out to claim that she lost $27 million of the Nirvana money. In her defense, she claimed the bulk of the money was spent settling several lawsuits over the years, including a highly publicized battle with the only surviving member of Nirvana over the band's unreleased materials, as well as a Twitter defamation suit. She also had a history of addiction, although it was kept on the low. Surprisingly, she claims that the money just had to go, emphasizing how she could survive on her own income without having to depend on the inheritance. Number 11. Dennis Rodman. There are very few NBA legends whose legacy can hold a candle to the enigma that is Dennis Rodman. He was one of the greatest to ever step on the court. Whether he was wearing 91 for the Chicago Bulls, or 10 for the Detroit Pistons, or 73 for the LA Lakers, Rodman played like a champion and he loved the game. The only thing he loved more than the game was the lifestyle it afforded him. Rodman loved to party, and he would never pass on an opportunity to have a good time. His fashion sense was also one of the best at the time, and he was known to spend quite a lot on his wardrobe. But even though he spent a chunk of his paycheck, that wasn't the only thing that wrecked him. His greatest mistake was placing his wealth in the hands of a sketchy financial advisor, who took advantage of the NBA star in more ways than you can imagine. That financial advisor said Peggy Ann Fulford, a scammer through and through. You see, when Rodman first met Fulford, he thought she was a Harvard-educated expert who wouldn't charge a fee because she just wanted to help her client. With the power of attorney she held, though, Fulford could move money in and out of the accounts, and she moved so much of that money into her personal account. She also created and managed 85 bank accounts for the NBA star, as well as 20 shell corporations with which she laundered money. Whenever Rodman would try to discuss financial issues with Fulford, she would shut him down and blame his spending habits. Rodman would eventually break ties with Fulford in 2015, and in the following year, the financial expert was arrested. She was charged and sentenced to 10 years in prison, and she also had to pay $4.7 million in restitution to her clients. However, Rodman has really been able to bounce back from the fall, and while Fulford did a number on him, 
Rodman himself could be blamed for getting himself in this mess. Number 10. Sly Stone Hollywood has been plagued by the drug epidemic since time immemorial, and it was with this backdrop that Sly Stone also emerged. Born Sylvester Stewart, Sly Stone was the frontman for Soy and the Family Stone, the band which helped blaze a path for a progressive mixture of funk, soul, and psychedelic music. With hit songs like Everyday People and Hot Fun in the Summertime still being played on the radio today, the band continues to maintain their iconic status. But Sly Stone himself hasn't fared so well, and it's all thanks to his drug addiction. However, just like Dennis Rodman, Stone also fell into the hands of some scammers who took some of his money for themselves. And for 15 years, much of the money that was derived from his hit songs was routed to the government tax collectors. He also found himself in trouble due to some loans he could never repay, and over time became homeless and had to live in a van. Till today, he has never been able to recover the rights to his hit songs, and now at 80, he currently lives in a secluded house in an anonymous Los Angeles suburb, a shadow of the star he once was. Number 9. Wesley Snipes From the very early days of his life, it was obvious that Wesley Snipes was going to be a superstar. At just the age of 12, he started training in martial arts, earning a fifth Dan black belt in Shotokan Karate and a second Dan black belt in Hapkido. These skills would eventually pave the way for him in Hollywood, earning him roles in movies like The Blade Trilogy, Demolition Man, and Drop Zone. For some time, the action star maintained a clean record. But in 2008, he found himself in trouble with the IRS after it was discovered that he had intentionally avoided filing millions of dollars of past tax returns. He was fined $5 million and sentenced to serve three years in a federal prison. The craziest part was that he also lost this money he was skimming off to a Ponzi scheme. Thankfully, he was able to come out of the scandal as a better person. Although he was out of work for some time following his release in 2013, he's been working hard to climb back onto the throne he lost. With appearances in movies like Coming to America, he could well be on the path to making a huge comeback. Number 8. Stephen Baldwin Stephen Baldwin comes from a dynasty of Hollywood stars, with brothers Alec, Daniel, and Billy forging successful acting careers as well. Although Stephen wasn't the most famous of them all, he had a pretty successful career as well. With roles in movies like The Usual Suspects and The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas, the actor was able to make a name for himself. But then he was hit by the global recession of 2008 and 2009 and had to file for bankruptcy. At that point, Baldwin was neck deep in debt, including two mortgages totaling $1.2 million, $70,000 in credit card debt, and more than $1 million in back taxes. In 2012, Baldwin was arrested for failing to file taxes in the years between 2008 and 2010, and he was forced to pay back within a year, else he would be sentenced to five years probation. That's not where it ends, though. In 2017, Baldwin's house also went into foreclosure, as he hadn't made his $7,000 monthly mortgage payment in over six years. Thankfully, the actor was able to pull through, moving into a small apartment in Queens and paying his debts off little by little. He finally became debt-free in 2018, just before his daughter, Haley Baldwin, got engaged to Justin Bieber. Number 7. Aaron Carter Aaron Carter caught the fame bug very early in life. After performing a cover of The Jets' Crush on You as an opening act for the Backstreet Boys back in the 90s, Carter went on to become a pop star, releasing hit song upon hit song. Pretty soon it became obvious that the young man was making quite a lot of money, and some even estimated he was worth about $100 million. But then Carter mysteriously vanished from the spotlight, only to reappear years later broke and in serious debt. Apparently, he had gotten himself into drug-related troubles, which was why the labels dropped him. He also lived a lavish lifestyle, and the money soon disappeared as fast as it came. The depth of his problems was revealed in 2019, when the pop star started a GoFundMe campaign just so he could leave California. Unfortunately, the actor passed away on November 5, 2022, at just the age of 34. Number 6. Nicolas Cage Once upon a time, veteran actor Nicolas Cage blew over $150 million buying everything from a private island to a dinosaur skull. After making more money than he knew what to do with, Cage embarked on a shopping spree unlike anything you've ever seen. He bought 15 residences, including a $25 million waterfront home located in Newport Beach, California, as well as a countryside estate in Newport, Rhode Island, which cost around $15.7 million. What's more, Cage also purchased the most haunted house in America, 
the infamous LaLaurie Mansion in New Orleans, for $3.4 million. His purchases were eccentric, and soon he found himself in debt. At the end of the day, several of these properties had to be foreclosed to settle his many debts, including a $6.3 million debt he owed to the IRS. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. As we explore the stories of celebrities who lost everything, each story reminds us of how fleeting fame can be. From the story of Brett Butler and her struggle to make a comeback, to the inspirational story of Natasha Lyonne, these are cautionary tales for the future stars. These celebrities squandered their income on pleasures, and at the end of the day, their castles crumbled, leaving them high and dry. Which of these stories shocked you the most? As always, share with us in the comments down below. Now let's get back to the video. Number 5. Mike Tyson He's been called the baddest man on the planet, Iron Mike, and Kid Dynamite. But even Mike Tyson has had his fair share of financial struggles. In the early days of his life, Tyson amassed a net worth of over $400 million thanks to his successful boxing career. But he would eventually spend everything recklessly, go through two failed marriages with Robin Givens and Monica Turner. He even found himself in prison for assaulting a beauty pageant contestant known as Desiree Washington. The court gave him six years, but he only spent three. In 2003, Tyson filed for bankruptcy, and he continued competing until 2005 just to make ends meet. Over the years, Tyson has been able to pull through, and he currently boasts a net worth of about $10 million, thanks to his many successful business ventures and his popular podcast, Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. Number 4. Willie Nelson Since he first burst onto the scene back in the 50s, Willie Nelson has become a Hollywood icon with one of the largest fan bases in the world. But on November 9, 1990, Americans were shocked to find out that federal agents had seized Nelson's properties over unpaid taxes. These assets included boxes of master tapes, touring equipment, gold and platinum records, and even his clothes. With his tax debt totaling $32 million, the singer knew there was no way out of this one. His lifestyle of lavish spending had drained his pocket. This, coupled with the bad advice he got from his accountants, sent him spiraling out of control. After a lengthy meeting with the IRS, the debt was settled for $9 million, but getting that would also be a problem. So, in a last, desperate move, Nelson decided to summon the force that made him rich and famous in the first place, releasing an album titled, The IRS Tapes, Who'll Buy My Memories. At first, the fans didn't really buy the album, but Nelson was an aggressive marketer, and it was this album that eventually helped him pay off his tax debt. Number 3. McHammer Rap Legend McHammer is currently worth $2 million, but back in the day, he was way richer than that, with a net worth of over $70 million. Even more astonishing is the fact that it took only five years after reaching the peak of his career for the rapper to file for bankruptcy. He bought almost 20 luxury cars, 21 racehorses, a private jet, and a helicopter, lavishing money at every turn. His most expensive financial decision would be the renovation of his California mansion, a project that cost over $30 million. By 1996, the money was gone, and he was neck deep in debts totaling $10 million. But just like many others on this list, McHammer has been consistently climbing up, although it's hard to predict if he will ever reach the heights he used to be. Number 2. Marvin Gaye At the peak of his career, legendary American R&B singer and songwriter Marvin Gaye was worth over $5 million, but by the time he died in 1984, he had a net worth of minus $9 million. Just like many of the celebrities on this list, Marvin Gaye's trouble was with the IRS, and this was further compounded by his failed marriages and a bout with addictions. Things got so bad that Gaye tried seeking tax exile in Europe. To settle his debts, Gaye sold the majority of his music royalty rights to Motown Records, retaining only the publishing rights to his music, which continued to generate income for his estate after his passing. Regardless of this blot on his legacy, Marvin Gaye is remembered as an icon, a figure of inspiration, and one of the best stars to ever shine in the R&B scene. Number 1. Burt Reynolds Throughout the 70s, Burt Reynolds dominated Hollywood, snatching an Oscar nomination for his role in the 1997 film Boogie Nights. But even though he had countless box office hits, Reynolds found himself stuck between a rock and a hard place in 1996, and he had to file for bankruptcy. His money was gone, and he had a mountain load of debts which piled up to $10 million. His costly divorce from Lonnie Anderson in the early 90s was also said to have played a role in his journey to financial ruin, an experience that was marked with foreclosure proceedings, 
shame, and retreat. But through hard work and consistency, Reynolds made his way back up, and by the time he died in September 2018, he was worth about $5 million. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.